So the wait is finally over. We have Avalish next OS version based on Android 15. This is Evox version 10. It's based on Android 15. It's been some time. Many custom rooms were giving you Android 15 based custom rooms and Evolution XOS is, uh, it's not available from a long time. Basically was not available from a long time, but we have its first initial stage, initial version. Although unfortunately while making this video, it's available for few of the Pixel devices like Pixel 6 series, Pixel 6a, 6 Pro, etc. Also for the 7 series and the 8 series, all the 8a Pro and 8, 7, 7a, 7 Pro, all these devices got this Android 15 Evolution XOS. For other devices, it is coming very, very soon. As it is Android 15, uh, we have all the Android 15 changes and features available. I will find out in this video, so stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. The quick settings panel, as expectedly, it is having the dark mode. So yes, even if you use the dark mode or light mode, the quick settings panel will still be in the dark mode. Secondly, if you take a look at the settings UI, you will find as expectedly it is having the new settings UI which is available in almost every Android 15 based custom room so far. Maybe with some of the more customization focused custom room, they will provide you some more changes but by default this is the one which you have. One thing which is missing from this version is quite strange that the predictive back animations are not there. That is enabled by default with Android 15, but in this case, not available, not so sure. Maybe the initial version, maybe it's a bug, not so sure, but for now it is not there. So just wanted to let you know. Secondly, what I found here is regarding the this volume panel, it is also not changed to Android 15 style. Although it's quite common because it is available in many other custom rooms too. They did not adapt it the Android 15 style volume panel, which is definitely okay. I mean, if you don't like it, that's okay. If you like Android 15 style volume panel, then unfortunately it's not the part of this one. Now having a look at the customizations or features, which are the part of Evolution XOS custom room, let's find out. First of all, take a look at the theming options. You will find modded customizations. In my case, unfortunately, there's a bug, but not so sure. We have some fonts options available, working fine. As you can see, I'm using it also. We also have some lock screen clock fonts available. So if you use the default clock, you can customize the fonts for that. Looking forward to some of the Android 14 based features like boot animation changer and lock unlock sound as expectedly those are not present but you have some icons customizations like signal icon customizations also you can see the icons I have applied on status bar for now these things are available. Talking about some other things, lock screen does not have any major options or customizations available for now only have the charging stats option. Taking a look at the status bar options, you will find some icons which you can enable or disable, nothing much you can do. Also, if you take a look at the status bar tuner, the option is present in the icon section, but we also have the same option. So do not have the option for Volti and Vo Wi-Fi icons. And I guess it is also not present with Android 14, not so sure. And here is, if you're able to notice, quick settings panel, the notifications section, if you just notice right now, same case with the power menu. These options, these settings are not even present. So unfortunately, little bit disappointed update, disappointing update with this update of Evolution XOS. But yes, this could be the initial stage. So things might improve later on. For now, this is what we have. Miscellaneous finally have some of these things which are useful. Like spoofing options are also present. Play integrity fix. Yes, it is working fine. In my case, I'm using it. Not the strong integrity, but device integrity, basic integrity, both are passing. And also some spoofing options like Google photo spoofing and higher FPS in games, Snapchat spoofing. These things are available, working fine. So that's a good thing. Talking about some of the other things, one thing which is quite good available in the app section, you will find cloned apps feature. So that's a good thing. It's available. It is working. You can create multiple clones of any Android app, not actually multiple clones. You can create a second instance of any other app in case you want to. Also, if we are, if we are able to notice, we have the new settings UI. So security and privacy options are now at the bottom. And also we do not have the app lock support, which was quietly expected because it is not even present in many custom rooms. So that's completely okay. In some of the custom rooms, you have the app lock present in the default launcher. The good thing is private space. It's not missing. Private space is here. It is working fine. I tried it. 
Android 15 has one of the great features and that is called private space. I've already told you in my previous videos too that private space is just so good with Android 15. It is already so common in many other OEMs by default, but with stock Android, with Android 15, this is a great addition. So we have private space. It is there. It is working fine because it is having pixel launcher pre-installed. So basically, whenever you can see, we have the option for hiding this private space. So yes, this is what we have. So these were things I just wanted to let you know if you want to try it out on a device. And by the way, if you want to find it, you have to search it in the app drawer and then you will be able to find it. So this is what we have. And yes, it is working fine because if we are using Pixel Launcher, that's completely, completely fine. This is it. These were the things I just wanted to let you know. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, don't forget to drop a like. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe the channel. As I told you, for now it's available for the Pixel supported devices. For other devices, coming very soon. Thanks for watching.